Um, so this year, I've actually decided to just quit my gym membership to save money. So, um, I've told my friends that I'm going to ghost them this year and probably not text them back because I don't need the plans and I don't want to spend money on the plans. I'm not buying coffees this year. Yeah, I'm going to try not buy any coffees out. Bobby, how are you loud budgeting in 2024? I'm eating my flatmate's food and not my own. Okay, what I'm doing is, when I go out clubbing, instead of buying drinks, I buy like a plastic little flask, fill it with alcohol, stuff in my trousers, and then buy Coke at the club, and then put the alcohol in the Coke, and then boom, that's what I save me. Hey folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. What you saw here was how budgeting, low budgeting is saving Aussies money. So low budgeting has replaced 2023 quiet luxury as the Gen Z um, social media finance trend of 2024. And new figures from NAB revealed low budgeters are saving $450 a month on average. Maya McIntyre, 23, told news.com.au she first come across low budgeting on TikTok. Central to the idea is being open and honest with family and friends about trying to save money. While in the past, um, people may have been reluctant to talk about the ways they save money or have made up an excuse to avoid an expensive social event, even if the real reason was financial. Loud budgeting um, aficionado will share their savings hacks and emit a desire to save money or not being um, to afford it and is the real reason for opting out. Ms. McIntyre, who recently graduated from uni has um, and has um, started um, her first full-time job as a registered nurse, said a desire to save money for a first home led her to adopt the approach. She said many of her friends who are st still studying or new to graduate are also allowed budgeting. Most of my friends are m making some changes to the way we think about our finances and some of us are, are definitely um, uh, more open to saying no to things if we feel like we want to make want to um, save money instead, she said. In my group, um, it's not very taboo to talk about money, she said, adding that her friends keep each other accountable by reinforcing their savings goals. Um, this in is stark contrast to older generation, where talking about money is the big, one of the biggest taboos. Among the loud budgeting measures Miss McIntyre has adopted, she has cut back on screaming subscription, is eating out less, and her friends have scrapped their uh, monthly restaurant dinner catch-up, replacing with a movie night at home. She said that by loud budgeting, she's able to contribute an extra $250 into a high-interest saving account each month. Consumer sentiment data from NAB Economics um, found that uh, its customers under 30 are saving on average $450 a month by reducing spending on non-essentials. The figure shows that um, the bank um, Gen Z customers are saving on an average of $124 a month by coming back on restaurant meals, an average of $73 a month by scrapping uh, micro treats like takeaway coffee, snacks and lunches, and an average of $96 a month by limiting food delivery. Also on the Trump blocks are streaming services, saving NAB customers um, under um, 30 um, on an average of 30 bucks a month. Car journeys leading to petrol saving of $70 a month on average and entertainment where they are saving on average $64 a month. Now, personal banking executive Paul Riley said in 2024, being cash conscious is official and cool with um, terms like loud budgeting, emerging overseas and on social media. The other hot budgeting trend is no or low spending month, which um, involves giving up alcohol, takeaway food or shopping for clothes or beauty for the month. Not booking holidays, 
food preparing, or bring your lunch to work, or finally asking mates to repay cash you you owned. Um, he said. Nab found that six, I mean, fifty-six percent of Gen Zs are putting the money um, they're um, saving into a high interest savings account or an offset account. The younger you are, the more likely you are to stash that money into a high interest savings account or an offset account. So instead of spending it, you're saving it, Mr. Riley said. He said the bank has seen a 24 increase in the number of Gen Z customers opening high interest savings account while the overall savings amount and balances belonging to this group have increased by 5.3%. Yes, folks, looks like um, Gen Z are um, starting to save and with this cost of living pressures and I think many older generations are doing the opposite where they just spend to the very end. Anyway, folks, what do you reckon about this so-called loud budgeting um, trend? Let your thoughts know in the comments section. Anyway, have a good day.